This is nine player pepper. We show this with the setter drill. The setters like to call it setter hack, but um, for the purposes of training our left sides and our right sides, this is a great drill. You can also throw your middle in here because you always want your middle to be able to attack on the left side or the right side as well. Uh, but what's nice about this is that, again, they, left sides and right sides, opposites, have so much to worry about. They have to block first, then they have to play defense, then they have to get out and swing. Okay? And sometimes they're also a live passer, so they're pulling back and passing, and then they have to get out and swing. So there's a lot for them to do. This drill, again, helps condition them. It helps them be smart. And they have to hit from both sides of the floor. So they're hitting from the left side, and then when they cross the net, they're hitting from the right side. So we're practicing both of those skills. The goal is that they need to get seven to get out. Um, you can adjust that if you, know, you need to. If seven seems like too many, if your ball control is not excellent, you can move it down to five, um, or even three if you're you know, at the freshman level or, or whatever. Just whatever works for your team, you, you're going to know that best. So um, just start by entering a ball. You can enter the ball with a free ball, a down ball, or even a serve if you want to progress to make it uh, more challenging. So we'll just do a free ball to just kind of get it going. So they have one, <clears throat> two. And that's what I want. Allison kind of looked like, oh, I maybe was, I want them to be aggressive. I want them to swing game like. That was exactly what I want to see. I want my defense to have to work in this drill too. This isn't just about the hitters. It's about my setter. It's about my defense being ready, low, getting their feet to the ball. This is about everybody. This is really a whole team drill. Okay? They can also neutral, so they don't go back to zero unless the ball hits, hits the floor. Okay? So they're on the opposite side of the net. I can enter with a down ball. They have, okay, so they're back to zero. That's okay. We want them to be smart and be aggressive. We got this. We got this drill. We own this drill. You got it. <coughs> we got it. Let's go, defense. Help them out. Help them get out of the drill. So we've got one. It's got to be a pass, a set, and a hit. So Allison made a bad choice, right? That set was tight and low. She just neutral that ball, keep it in play. Don't go back to zero. Okay, we got this, ladies. One. Defense is low and on their toes. Come on, defense. We've got two. Three. Nope. It's got to be a better pass. There we've got. Pass that hit. Three. Four, five, this is going to be a neutral. They're going to keep the ball in play. So we still have five, six, still going to be a neutral. Keep swinging aggressively. Seven. Okay, the, we had seven on the dig. So they, they accomplished their goal. They got their, their drill there. So again, it's um, nine player pepper. It's a good drill to get them to work on their transition work and they get pretty fatigued at the end, so it's a good conditioning drill as well.